Hi, Ari. Hey, Fabian. How are you? It's good. Re it's recording. <laughs> okay, it's your first listen. Uh, we just discussed you, your beginner for triathlon, but uh, you would like to improve your swimming. And your objective is next year to achieve an half Ironman. That's right. But you start from scratch pretty much. Okay, so uh, your breathing on swimming is a bit sometimes complicated for now. Yep. And you would like to improve your stroke for this lesson. So maybe you just show me first how you can swim okay. without any instruction. Okay. I have a look and then from there we, we will try to make it better. Okay, perfect. All right. All right, guys, so you see the, the butt is slightly sinking. The legs are a bit too deep. All right, and the hands are slightly crossing too much at the middle. He is breathing every four strokes, which is sometimes tiring after a period of time in terms of rhythmic. So we try to do some exercise to make him feeling better. All right, how you feel just after this? It's about 30 meters now. Okay. You feel all right? Yeah. The, the breathing is okay? Usually okay. you can swim how long before you get tired in terms of distance or time? You don't know? I'd say probably two, three hundred meters. I need to definitely take a break. Okay. A little bit and then I go in. All right. So definitely uh, the breathing is a challenge. Okay. So now I just want you to focus on your sensation. Uh, it's not about going fast, going on timing, or it's just feeling right, okay? okay? Because if you start to feel right, next time when you swim without me or by yourself on your own training, you will know what is the good sensation. So today the challenge for us is to make you feel when is a good swim, a good stroke, when you are starting to lose it and then to stop, to control. So it's about the techniques and the sensations, okay? okay. Uh, so your, your base is not too bad. There is little things to correct mm -hmm. and that's what I'm gonna do and you have to feel it. It's not because I say it, it's because you have you got to understand that. Okay. okay, so first your feet, you are slightly not horizontal, all right? You are slightly sinking from the back. Your feet are slightly too deep, your butt is slightly too deep, so you drag water too much, mm -hmm. okay? So to help you with it, we will do the same distance again. Just chin lower on your chest. Okay. Just don't look forward, just high, further down. yeah, further down, okay. straight to the bottom, like this. Okay. Uh, and your legs uh, kick slightly smaller on the surface, feel the splash under in, into your feet. You have to and feel it. More, we are sm small, I mean, you can do small and fast, but you need to feel sp 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 behind you. You know the splash? Yeah, that if you don't feel the splash, they are too and deep. Okay? okay, so just, just do that and try to start to feel it. Okay. Focus on the sensation now. Okay. Okay, so now we try to correct the feet. So, okay, slightly more feet. Oh, that's interesting. His toes is going on the on the side like a like a brace stroke. You see that? His toes is going outside instead of inside. So it's slightly more horizontal, but the feet is sticking outside. It's very strange, though. I don't know. Alright, Hi, Fabian. let's keep going. Almost there. Okay, that's 40 meters. You feel alright? Yeah. I, have you tried to look deeper? A little bit. I saw your kick more kicking now. Okay, there is something very funny you are doing, and I want like I would like you to correct this. So I show you. Okay, the freestyle kick is like this. Your toes see are inside. You kick like that. When you swim, you do this. Tack, hop. This one goes out. So basically, I don't know why, but sometimes instead of kicking like that, you kick and suddenly up. You you open like a fr like brace stroke. And you go back middle. Try to focus on this. Your toes, they can eventually touch sometime each other, but don't open it, okay? Let's keep it more inside. We will do also for your hands. You go very much at the middle. Your hands from the side go middle, 
and cross even on the other side. So it means your right hand goes sometimes to the left side. Okay. Try to keep, yes. So now let's try to open up your hands more. Yeah, straight both together. Open more, like your shoulders, like your shoulders wide. More, 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 more. Ah. Yeah. You're gonna learn. Try to be open like this when you swim, and after your stroke, when your hands pull, when you go back on the side, sideways. Yes. No more middle. Okay. Just try to open up your hands and your toes inside. Ah, right, let's go slowly. Right hands on the side. Oh. Hey, that's funny, the legs are still kicking. It's too deep. Okay. Ali, don't stop, buddy. Kick non stop. That's right. Okay, you need a break. Tearing. You okay? Yeah. Okay. So it's same. Your feet, your feet still sinks and still um, open on the side. That doesn't help for the for the kicking. Okay. Uh, you you maybe we will try to make you a pool boy for focusing more on your arms after. And your right hand, your left hand is less going middle than the right. So you are not actually symmetric. Why? Because you also breathe only on one side. Yeah. On triathlon, you. Sometimes you turn on the right, sometimes you turn on the left. It will depend the waves, it will depend who is swimming at that moment near to you. You need to be able to manage Both to... Sides. Yeah, yeah, it's very important. You cannot breathe only on one side. You, you're blind on the other side, you know? Mm -hmm. So let's try to breathe not every four stroke, that's what you do now, but every three strokes. One to turn on the right, one and to turn on the side. left. And we will go for smaller distance. Don't focus on the long distance. I want you to be fresh every time we do laps. Okay. okay? So you do half the distance only. Okay. Okay? So open up more your hands that was not open enough. Especially after you breathe, go on the side. Don't go middle. You really, with your right hand, you, you go too much at the middle. Okay. And your feet try to just, yeah, see how it goes. If not, I give you a pull boy. Okay. Hi, <laughs> Fabian. Okay, so close your feet more, open up more. I right, breathe, and one, two, three. <laughs> On the other side, the things I'm not used to the other side at all. So you breathe when you pull, okay? You turn your head when you start the pull. One, two, turn. One, two, turn. That's the pull is... Okay, yeah, that's slightly late. Just turn when you start the pull. Okay, so, so one, one, two, two turn. Three. One, one, two, turn now. Yes. Turn your head when you start the pull, not at the end. You pull and you turn in the same time. That will help you, okay? All right, let's try again. Stop for now. Uh, we'll give you something. Come. Uh, let me get something. Maybe we take a board here. Okay. So this is for your legs. Be in between your legs. That's a pool boy. Now we work on the. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the other oh, way. way. Yeah. Close your close yeah. your legs and keep it inside. Okay. Now this is for your hands. Uh, if you take it. I just yeah. Orient to me. So look, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it, swim with only one hand. Pull, the left side is where you're not used to breathe, so we do only left side. So one pull, two pull, turn, breathe, and catch it. That's an exercise. It's it's kind of tricky when you're not used to it. So you're gonna try. Okay? So you hold it with the right hand and you will pull only with your left hand. Three times. One same hands. Okay. Two. Okay. Turn it. Put your yep. goggle and see how. No kicks. 
So you will go very slowly and your balance will be very, very unstable. Okay. Okay? So okay. don't worry, just try. One, two, turn. That's right. One, two, I one, two, okay, actually it's not so bad. Okay, it's not so bad, it's not so bad. You feel it? Now we try, yeah. you try to do it for some more meters. Yeah. I want you to turn after three. One hand, two hand, turn at the third one and repeat. All right, okay. let's go. So one, two, turn. Try to keep the board on the surface of the water. The board is, the, yes, the paddle. So one pull, two pull. That's not three. <laughs> you right? Yeah. You know you breathe every two strokes, not every three, huh? Yeah. Do, do you know that? Okay, if you know it, it's fine. It's just just yeah. to make sure you, you count correctly. Yeah, I just, my problem is I don't breathe consistently. Like I stop and I, then I go, I stop. Okay, the breathing, consistent. underwater you have to blow your bubbles every time you pull. Are you holding your breath or are you blowing your bubbles? I'm holding up quite a bit, that's the problem. Okay, never do that, you exhale. So when you pull, every time you have a stroke you pull, every time you blow. So, one, two, breathe in. Breathe. Basically it's not constantly, you accelerate the movement underwater. You're pulling, accelerate when you go near to your legs. Okay, you start to catch the water. After the catch, you accelerate until your legs. Yes? Okay. When you accelerate, you exhale stronger. It's like when you punch someone, you exhale stronger, you have more power. So it's the same, you pull and you and twice. So exhale, acceleration in the same time. Try to do that. So same exercise, blow stronger every time you pull. But you do it on the third, right? So no, 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 no. One, the, the, the first one you blow, no, I mean, the yeah, second one you sorry. blow, and the third one you breathe. Yeah. Yeah? The third one you turn your head to breathe. And the way that I turn the head, is that correct? Or uh, it, it, it still works. Actually, the perfect way would be to have half of your face in the water and to not touch your arms. Your arms on the front is supposed to glide forward and the board right here is not sinking so you glide and you turn in the middle here in the water if you use your arms here it's not so good so go inside the water and glide you turn to glide okay the idea is to turn to glide but it's still all right you just breathe too late turn your head when you start to pull not after your pull okay so blow blow turn yeah all right and on the third one is where you say it needs to be harder right no, 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 you, you, like this, like, uh, like that, you're here, okay, okay, there okay, we go, let's try, Okay, the breathing was too close to the water, but that's okay, just get used to it. It's new things. This is the side you're not used to breathe. Not at all. So no. this is this is double harder, okay? Yeah. Ali. Breathe. One. Two. Breathe. Okay. All right, not too bad. You managed to do something. Now, I make it easier for you. You can alternate your hands. So, left, right, breathe. Okay. Left, right, breathe. breathe. Okay? You are, you, yeah, yeah, both sides. So, one time on the left, one time yeah. on the right. And don't forget to blow, blow, inhale. Blow, blow, inhale. Okay? Try to relax more. And keep this board on the surface. Yeah. All right, let's go. One, two. You can you can go left, alternate, right. right? Yeah, yeah. You can yeah. alternate. Okay. 
one, two, turn. One, two, turn. One. It's good, it's good. Everything is new. You lose your balance because of the board at the middle. That's yeah. completely normal. You need to use your core to manage your strokes yeah. and to pull. This, this makes you very good improvement, actually. When I remove everything, it will feel much easier. In, yeah. So let's try to finish the lap like this. Yeah. And if you can manage to finish without stopping, that would be awesome. Okay. Keep one, two, turn at three. Yeah. So keep your board on the top of the water, blow your bubbles, turn at number three. And one pull, accelerate, two pull, accelerate, breathe. One pull, accelerate, two pull, accelerate, breathe. One, two, breathe. Correct. One, two, breathe. It's going too high on the side, you can see. Breathe. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, you are improving every lap. You are getting better in terms of confidence about this one. Okay, the left side when you turn, uh, which is on my side, I think it's this side. Yeah. yeah. When you turn here, you turn too high. Come, come, come. So your head, right? When you turn here, yeah. don't don't go up like this. That's what you do. Yeah. Try to keep, yes, okay, stay stay close to me. Your chin here, mm -hmm. near your shoulders here. Try to turn on your shoulders, that's right, and then chin on your chest. Mm -hmm. Chin on your shoulders, chin on your chest. If we're on the side here, okay, turn, 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 turn. So it's like this. You go on your shoulders, no, no, don't go sorry, up. Sorry, sorry. On your shoulders, your chin near to your shoulders. Yeah. Turn, turn, yeah, and then back on your chest. Right now, what you do is you chin up, and then you turn like that. So there is a huge gap in between, okay? Try to minimize this gap because what happens when you do that, you feel it, you turn and your body flips over because I don't allow you to kick because your head turns too much and too high. You, you need to turn less and closer to the water with your chin near to your shoulders instead of chin up. Don't chin high when you breathe. Chin down here, don't chin up like here. Okay, um, good, we will try one more with this chin and we do half pull and if it's good i remove the board okay. and after if it's still good i remove the board on the front okay. and then 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 you will start to feel better right. okay okay let's go so one pull two pull turn and breathe okay this is not bad one bubbles exhale turn and breathe chin on your shoulders that's better all right come on one two Turn and breathe. One, two, turn and breathe. Okay. <laughs> now it's 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 yeah. a it's a tricky thing. Don't worry. It's the beginning is tricky. Just get used to it. It's like when you open a bottle, you know you don't you don't twist the head on on one side or another. You just turn yeah. horizontal. Okay. Your head is is like the top of the bottle. You turn and you go back. You don't you don't you know change yeah. the direction. Just turn and go back okay so remove the board in between your legs you are allowed to kick now it will help you a little bit okay, okay. same exercise with some kicks so your balance will be easier when you turn your head doesn't yeah. mean you have to turn more just keep it the same and start to glide One, two turn and breathe All right, small kick One, two Turn and breathe. One, two, turn and breathe. One, two, turn and breathe. Okay, all right, we stop for now. You all right? Was <coughs> too close? Yeah, I go up like this. <laughs> yeah, it's, so it's, it's, it's easier, but on this one... I'd because like you never do, you never yeah. do. It will it will come with practice. It's it's like uh, you know you you got to little details and sensation step by step. You will become more comfortable because every time you drink water, you feel like oh I don't I don't want to drink next time again. So you over overdo it. Yeah. And actually, the idea is you think by going up 
you will not drink water, but actually you lose your balance. So it's better to stay close and do it right. You don't drink the water actually if you do close. Then if you go up, you might still drink, but your balance will definitely drop behind. Do I need to move my body, like rotate more? You can, you can. When you breathe, you can slightly rotate your hips and rotate your shoulders. You don't, you don't change directions, but you turn, yeah. turn, turn, that's okay. Yes, you can move your shoulders on the side. One shoulder is going deeper, one is, is going higher. Same for your hips, okay? You can have this little rotation. Um, give me the board. We try to do the same exercise. One hand after another, open on the surface. So keep your hands on the surface, both together. Imagine you still hold the board, actually. You hold it, but you don't have it. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like that. You swim like that with a magic board. Just imagine you have a board, okay? And we repeat the same. Okay. All right, let's go. Yeah, 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 that's 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 normal. You do it a few times on, on the other side. But look, um, now when you turn your head, I want you to remember your first hand, you, you need to glide. Don't turn your head and pull with the hand which is supposed to glide. When you turn your head, the hand on the front is not going down. You turn your head to glide. Hop, then you turn your head. You don't go deep and turn your head. Sometimes that's what you do. When you turn your head, I look at your first hands, the hand on the front. So, so you, it has to stay here. Yeah, you turn, you turn your head, you turn your head, and your hand is going down. Yeah. No, turn your head and glide forward, slide on the surface. You will glide. The idea is to not going down. The idea is to slide up. Okay, like Superman, you would just glide forward. So turn your head and stretch forward. Don't go down. Okay. We do half the pull. Just now, objective is the sensation. Okay. Less speed. One hand, two hand, turn on the surface and breathe. Okay. One, two, turn. One, two, turn. One, two, turn. One, two, turn. That's it. Turn. Stop. That's it, I'm happy with it, no more than that. Okay, better on the side you're used to. The other side is getting better than just before, but still sinking more. You can feel, right? One yeah. side you are managing to keep it up, the other, the other side you just pull. You pull because you you turn your head too late and because you need speed to maintain that, that head on the surface. If you turn your head after the pull, when you turn your head, you need speed, so that's why your hair's a hand, need to pull also. Uh, let me explain. So what you do is now, you just one, two, turn, that's good. See, I turn, I breathe, my hand stays up, this one. And then I go back, right? But you, you breathe, and then you pull here. Your hand's already going down, because this one, when you turn, you turn too late. You turn too late, so you, you cannot maintain this up. You need speed. So what you do, you start to pull this one. But here on the front there is nothing. On the front there is always something gliding. So stretch, stretch, turn your head and stretch. That you okay. stretch. There is never your hands down. Always stretch. Basically, this pull is less important than the one on the front. You stretch, stretch, turn your head, stretch up, don't go down. Okay? Try to feel your hands is going on the surface forward. The, okay. the more important is the one who glide. The, the other one is just pulling is simple, just pull, you know? But the front one is the key on swimming. And the way that I pull, is that correct or is that it's fine. doesn't... It's still effective. The, the pulling, there is different theories about yeah. it. Just feel the pull. Okay. Accelerate, pull to the end. Uh -huh. Go deep, 
pull with your hands, pull with your forearms. Yeah. And pull, catch the water. Yeah, pull and pull. The rest, okay. the rest will work. If you move forward, it's still. But the main thing is to glide. Glide, glide forward. Don't sink glide forward. Am I going still a lot to the. A bit. So open up, more on the surface, less deep. Mm -hmm. Instead of doing this, that's what you do. Let's go for this. Okay. In my head, do I have to keep my head? I feel I'm still like this. Do I really? You can go deeper. If you go deeper, it will be easier. You can you can look more straight at the bottom. It will be easier. Okay. Give it a try and tell me how you feel. How do you feel? Better, but still not gliding enough. Yeah, so for now, what is it? Is your hands still going like this and deeper? So I will correct this with a board. Uh, you will learn how to swim with the other board again. I will, I will force you to do... Oh no, we will do a touch. It's even better. No need to do a board. You will catch your own hands. Okay. So you must to clap your hands on the surface. Touch, pull, go touch your other hands. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. yeah. You catch your hands. Try. It's it's not simple at the first okay. time, but if you can do it, then you will be great for the glide. Okay. So one catch, two catch, one. See. Okay. One, two, turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, you managed to do it a few times correctly. I want you to be able six strokes. One, two, turn on the right. One, two, turn on the left. Six time catch, okay? And then we stop. We just practiced this. This is good, actually. Let's try again. So, one touch, two touch. Turn your head, breathe. Ready, breathe. And touch. One touch. To touch. Nope. nope. You, you forgot the other side of breathing. <laughs> so let's let's do it one more time. One touch, two touch, turn your head and touch. And repeat. One touch, two touch, turn your head and touch. Oh the other thing I want to ask you. Yeah. When you count so when do you go all the way back or yeah. when you come actually you come up here? All the way. All the way. Through. You go to the end, yeah, you will go to the end until you finish the stroke on the surface. When you finish on the surface, left, lift, don't do that. That's tiring for your shoulders. Okay, so finish you the stroke, lift up your elbow, let your hand down. So here, and then drop your hand forward. So pull, lift up your elbow, drop your hand. Yeah. It comes from your elbow. So you lift up your elbow, but your hand is relaxed. Don't keep it up. This is tiring for your shoulders. Pull and drop your hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just keep it relaxed. Mm -hmm. Pull and then relax, drop it. Okay? So three times the touching hands, right? Yes, one touch, two touch, turn and touch. Just count your stroke. One, two, turn. You don't turn? Okay, so one. Two, turn. Okay, all right, we did it. You did four and three, yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. You, I got what I want. Can you do it again? Four yeah. and three, or three and three? Three and three. Okay. One, three. Yes. You turn on the wrong side because you're so used to turn at four, right? It's okay. Just give me this. Wait, wait, wait. So I start with. One, you start two, with what? Whatever, with this hand, right? You start with whatever hand you want. You just turn at the stroke three. <laughs> okay. <sighs> One, two, three. Too late. Touch your hands every time. It's a touch exercise. Yeah. Learn how to um, 
you know, separate each strokes. One stroke, touch your hands. Two stroke, touch your hand. Three stroke, breathe, touch your hands. That's right. That's right. That's good. Ah, the last one on the other side, same thing. In terms of sensation, it's not too bad. Turn and touch. Turn and touch. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm gonna stop the video because it's getting dark, but we will continue a little bit. So now, which is great, is you manage to catch your hands on the front. What is the point of catching your hands on the front? Is to keep your hand gliding on the surface. Instead of pulling for pulling, now you pull for the other hand to move forward. Remember, the intention is to glide. The intention is not to pull. You pull for the other hand to glide forward. You don't pull because you need to pull, right? So focus on the front one. The pulling is simple, just pull, okay? Okay. All right.